Hey everybody, this uh, lesson is constant rates of change. So the last one we did unit rates and this is constant rates and we'll use unit rates in this one also. So recognize and represent proportional relationships between quantities. Okay, we'll talk about proportions in just a second. So how can we identify and represent proportional relationships? Okay, here, let's go ahead and get started. So here's an example right here. So this is where we're uh, going to discover some proportional relationships. It takes a giant tortoise three seconds to travel 10.5 inches. Okay, so the diagram shows the rate at which the tortoise moves. Determine if the tortoise is moving at a steady pace. Okay, so let's just look at this diagram right here. Here's one second, here's another second, here's another second. So the first two seconds, yes, it's 3.5, 3.5. We need to see if this is 3.5, okay? And then if it is 3.5, then we're going to say, yes, it's moving at a steady pace. Okay, so if I added 3.5 and 3.5, I get 7 inches all together right there. Now the total is 10.5 inches, so 7 plus, yep, 3.5 equals 10.5. So the diagram shows that the, the tortoise moves 3.5 inches per second. Uh, so it's moving at a steady pace right there, okay? So what, what uh, unit rate is represented in this diagram, okay? Well, remember, the unit rate is uh, with 1 on the bottom. So, so the tortoise is moving 3.5 inches for every 1 second, okay, per second. All right, so complete the table. So this is still that same tortoise right there, okay? So the tortoise moves after 1 second, 3.5. After 2 seconds, add 3.5 is 7 inches. Add 3.5 is 10.5. 10.5 plus 3.5, well, add the 0.5s, we get 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3.5, so there. There's our tortoise's table completed right there. So for each column of the table, write a rate that compares the distance and time. And we're going to put um, the distance in the numerator. So we'll start here. We'll put 3.5 and put uh, uh, the time in the denominator. So 3.5 and 1 right here. Okay, so what's 3.5 over 1? It equals 3.5. Let's put the next uh, distance. So this one is 7. 7 over 2. So 7 over 2 right there. 7 over 2. What's 7 divided by 2? 3.5. Okay, let's plug in the next distance. 10.5 over 3, so 10.5 over 3, and if you punch that in your calculator, you find out it's 3.5. 14 over 4 is 3.5, and yep, let's just complete it, 3.5 right there. Okay, so what did you notice about the decimal forms of the rates? They were, oops, let's just slide that up. They're all equal to each other. Your book likes to say equivalent, which is equal. They're, they're equivalent to each other. Uh, uh, how do you think the distance in the tortoise travel is, is related to time? Okay, well, the relationship is constant, and it goes at a constant uh, speed overall. So suppose, suppose the tortoise travels for 12 seconds. Explain how we can find the distance the tortoise travels. Well, we can multiply 12 times 3.5 per, uh, inches per second. And so, so if we did that, you guys, it would be something like this, 12 times 3.5. Well, 3.5 is the same as 3 plus 0.5. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 0.5 is um, uh, 6, 36 plus 6 is 42 inches. So after 12 seconds, that tortoise gets 42 inches, which is not even 4 feet. How do we describe the rate of the speed at which the tortoise travels? Well, we'd say something like the rate is constant. So it's going at a constant speed, okay? So a proportion, you guys, is a statement that says that two rates or two ratios are equal to each other. So like two fractions are equal to each other, okay? So, for example, 6 over 2 is equal to 3 over 1, okay? And the reason why we put 3 over 1 is because if, it's, if we have 1 in the denominator, this is called a unit rate right here. So 6 miles for every 2 hours is the same as 3 miles for every 1 hour. And, the, and uh, these uh, ratios are equal to each other, so it's called a proportion when they're equal to each other. There's another proportion. 2 over 4 is the same as 1 over 2. A rate of change is a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another. Okay, like 3 miles for every hour. That's the rate of change right there. So a proportional relationship between two quantities is one in which uh, the rate of change is always constant, okay, in which uh, the ratio of one quantity to the other is constant. Your book likes to say equivalent, which just means equal, constant, equivalent, equal, so all fancy words. So proportional relationships are often used to, dis, uh, dis, are often described that uses the words per, if you see the word, like 55 miles per hour, that would be 
um, uh, a rate that we'd say right there, or or uh, or other words that are for each. So, for example, you guys, one a dollar twenty-five per pound could be described as a dollar twenty-five per pound, or dollar twenty-five for each pound. Okay. So there would be a, propor um, uh, a proportional relationship right there. Okay, so um, Callie earns money by dog sitting. Based, based, I should say, based on the table. Based on the table, uh, uh, is this relationship between the amount Callie earns and the number of days a proportional relationship? So we've got to see, are they all equal to each other right there, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. All right, so let's first find um, uh, 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 the rates of each one. So we're going to put, um, we always put the bottom over the top. So the amount earned over the number of days. Okay, let's do this first one. $16 for one day right there. That's what we're going to put right there. Okay, and then so the first day is $16 for one day. The second day is $32 for two days. Okay, so $32 for two days reduces to $16 for one day. 32 over 2 is 16 over 1. The next one, I'm just going in the chart, is going to be 43 or 48 over 3. Okay, 48 over 3 reduces to 16 over 1. 64 over 4, again, 16 over 1. What do you think 80 over 5 is? 16 over 1. So, uh, Cali earns the number of days, so um, is this relationship um, a proportional? Well, the rates are all equal, and that means that the rate is constant, so that relationship is proportional if it's a constant rate right there. So the constant rate of change is $16 per day, per one day. This table shows the distance Allison drove on one day on her vacation. Okay, so the time in hours and the distance in miles. Is this relationship between the distance and the time proportional relationship? Did she drive at a constant speed? So that's saying the same thing. Is it proportional? Is it constant speed? Are they equal to each other? So we want to check uh, the rates. Is, is this rate right here, 65 miles for every one hour, does that equal 120 for every two hours right there? Well, 120 over 2 is 60 over 1, not 65 over 1, so so they're not equal, so it's not proportional. The rates are not equal because uh, she's, uh, her change of speed that changes, so there might be hills or traffic or whatever that makes her change her speed, okay? All right, so, uh, uh, so if there is a proportional relationship between x and y, we can describe that relationship using the equation y equals kx, where k is called the constant of proportionality, and it represents the constant rate of change or the constant ratio between x and y. Okay, typically it's your unit uh, rate. Uh, the number that goes that what is your unit rate? So the k represents the equation uh, k equals y over x. Don't worry about that part right there, but... So two pounds of cashews, so notice it says two pounds of cashews cost $19, and eight pounds cost $76. So it says show that the relationship for the number of pounds of cashews to the number of, to the cost is proportional relationship. Okay, then write an equation for the relationship. Okay, and describe the proportion and relationship in words. Okay, so let's go ahead and complete this table. Okay, so it says right up here, Two pounds cost $19. So here's two pounds. We'll put in 19 right here. It says eight pounds cost $76. So eight pounds, we'll put in 76 right there. Okay. All right. We don't know the three yet. So let's just see if they're the same uh, rate of change. If they are, then we can go ahead and calculate that three. Okay. So 19 over two. So 19 over two gives us $9.50 or 9.5. Okay. Let's do uh, 76 over eight. 76 over eight. 9.5. So the rates are equal to $9.50 per pound, so they're constant, so the relationship is proportional if they're equal uh, rates. The constant rate of change is $9.5 or $9.50 per pound right there. So to complete the table, now that we know it's 950, we can just, there's two ways to do this. I'll show you the other one in just a second. We can just do 19 plus 9.5, okay? 19 plus 9.5 gets us 28.5. So there, that table is now complete right there, okay? All right, let's just slide that up right there. The equation is y equals kx, where k is that 9.5. So our equation is y equals 9.5x. So if we know the equation, we could have plugged in 3 right here. 3 times 
9.5 gets us this 28.5 right there. So the cost is $9.50 per pound, where X is the number of pounds and Y is the cost right there, okay? All right, almost done, you guys. So how can we use our equation to find the cost of six pounds? Well, we just plug in six for X. So 9.5 times six is gonna give us $57, okay? All right, so for a school field trip, you guys like field trips. There must be one adult to accompany 12 students, three adults that accompanies 36 students, and five adults to accompany 60 students. Show that the relationship between the number of adults and the number of students is a proportional relationship, and then write an equation. Okay, so it says um, show that the relationship between the number of adults. So, so the adults go on top. So between the number of adults and the number of students, so it's going to be adults over students. So it's going to be 1 over 12. Does 3 go into 36 12 times? Yep. Does 5 go into 60 12 times? Yep. So they're constant rate of change, so they are proportionate. So each rate does equal one adult for every 12 students right there. So the relationship is proportional. Okay, so the equation is y or a equals kx. Well, y, I'm sorry, a equals ks. It was y equals kx, but this was always our y right here, and this was always our x. So in this case, it's a equals k times s, a being the adults and s being the students right there. Okay, and k is this, 1 12th right here. So we get uh, a equals 1 12th s right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.